right, just wanted to show you again real quick. I have the laser beam set up again. That's going to give me a transit level. I, I lined them up right on the middle of the striker on both sides. That's going to give me my top point on where I'm going to set these speakers. And that's going to give me a measurement point if I want to lower them or if I want to raise them. But that's going to give me my center line of where I'm going to place them and uh, where they should be. So uh, I'm raising the seat up a little bit and we're going to set them about right in here somewhere. And uh, it should give us a real nice clean sound that way. And these are the rings that I've cut. Just a three quarter plywood density board. It's going to go right here and that's going to set the speaker ring. So you can see the laser beam set up in there. And uh, that's where we're at. Uh, real quick too is that uh i finished out the back window and laid it out in a eighth inch thick density board uh, it's a little firmer and stronger more resistant and everything than the cardboard backing now the cardboard backing that we're using in different places of the car is uh getting fiberglassed into the corners so uh that's how it's sitting in there. It's all carved out around the back one. To turn it over all night and sit in place. Yeah, real quick, I just wanted to go over what uh, I put together last night was two pieces. Uh, I put a cloth together on this to make it real nice and smooth. It bridges it up. It, it's, it's solid now. Um, it makes it a solid piece for that shape to hold. If you, you look at it, you get a nice, rigid, nice plastic. Uh, made it out of tight knit fiberglass cloth. Um, it's real nice and thin. It holds a shape and just gives that a little bit of shape. Um, all these are all done. Uh, went over and glassed the backside just to seal it up for moisture over time. Um, we'll do the same to these. But they're roughed in and ready to clean up. Well, to give you a little idea what the roof looks like, uh, that's been the roof going in. Um, it's all going to be one piece. It'll be sectioned off in a couple things when I do the center console and I have to go around the, the wiper motors that are typical pain to butt. Um, but the, the roof itself and ceiling headliner is virtually coming out really nice. bumping it into everything but there it is um, it's going to be fastened all across the front and then a front piece will go to, to trim this that will match the side panels here um, the headliner accents the side panels and the side down here will be green and this changes to a lighter color on the top just enhances with the car give it some height but that's her so a little bit of measuring actually a lot of measuring and a lot of curving and getting everything we've got going on so here we are on the interior uh it's been a little while in between the recording um i a new camera didn't realize uh some things weren't right and uh missed out on a bunch of video put it that way uh some re-videoing, I'm going to catch you up, what's going on, 
Um, the seat's been mocked up in and out of the truck. Uh, things have been laid up to position the seats where they're going to be. Um, to match in with the... I don't know if you'll get a visual in here or not. Um, this is where the speaker boxes are mounted into the side panels. And they're going to be right here. Um, they're all ready to go in. They're just sitting in here. All these pieces, uh, I had to put the seats back in and give you a visual on the seats for where the seat belts will end up being. Um, they've been mocked up, so we need to sit a person in here and get the position where I'm going to mount the piece in here on the side. Um, the plates and everything have been mounted for the seats. I need to talk to him about what he'd like me to do here. I want to make a plate out of either the carpet with some of the green trim around it and go right down here and then I'll do a velcro around the back and loop it and hook to the back side here we could have a screw a mount plate across the front and it would hide this I'm waiting on the plastic pieces um, here on the side I got tent made for them for dyed to match to this uh, little truck's been a lot of work uh, there's a few things that were uneven on the little truck that had to be addressed now. This is the ceiling um, The ceiling I put together in another piece and ended up it would not stay fitted I, I could not get it straight where I wanted it with the top piece and the other side uh, I ran into some measurements on the the roof that weren't correct and uh, I'll address them, but uh, we've resolved it got it looking really nice um, that's all fiberglass up there the side panels and everything snap in and out um, The stereo unit up here in the top is all welded in it's a bolt-in unit into the back But this is all rigid and bolted in there. These are where the motors are for the windshield wiper motors It's a fiberglass ball that was made into the tops on both sides um, I have a piece that goes right across here that will address this area here um, Everything's ready to be covered. I'm waiting on the wind lace and a couple things. I had the wind lace dyed by uh, S and K. They uh, they did all the dye to match this, so I'm just waiting. It's been the holidays and and stuff like that. So all this is ready to go in. Um, this is the back piece. This is all all been laid I'm just ready to set it in place I don't want to touch it much it's a suede material and it's very easy to get um scotch yard it and keep it clean uh, this is all the carpet it's been laid and pre-cut everything's ready I stitched up all the front everything's done here on it um, I got the sill plates made I want to add a little piece around this corner here so I dress this um, and that's where that's at here let me show you the door panels Door panel's been on and off. Everything's ready for them to be snapped back in. Okay, there's the door panels. The door panels are ready to go back on. Uh, they all been fitted. Everything is, is set up. All the fittings and everything are in the back of it. So everything's ready to go that way. They are... A couple little things. Uh, Waiting on some things, but it's been a, a lot of uh, design and fabrication and and everything to make all these pieces. All these pieces come right in and out. That's a fiberglass piece with a, a foam covering, and you can see that it's all fiberglass. And what they do is they sit right in here. Sorry, I got to put this down a second. But there's the one on that side and it'll be matched with the suede uh, the searing and the sides will be matched with the suede let me walk around to the other side but uh that, that's where we're at right now it was getting a good position in the seat the height the ride um, and the piece up there going across the top um, it, it'll look really sweet when we're done nice nice smooth clean finish a uh, little bit left to go and she'll be all wrapped up all right here we are in the trucks after i've lined up and raised up the seats if you look you got a real nice position to your legs your your back and everything you're sitting up a little higher you can get to the foot pedal and everything without any problem 
Now I am, I've waited to do the seats and get everything and cut down before I cut the pedal. Um, the pedal's all ready to be cut. I've lined up where it is, but it, it's real nice now. Um, a little adjustment to that, and it will be real comfortable. Um, see on heights real good. Uh, Gurney is a little bit taller to me, about like this. So he's got real nice searing coverage, and uh, I got the ceiling looking real nice and even. All the sides are looking real good, and seats look real good. All the panels look real good, and I'll show it to you when I'm all done. Okay, uh, one more thing I wanted to go over that I didn't mention a second ago is that uh, the seats are placed in here. Everything's folded back in. I need to get a position. This is going to be a three-piece harness on this car. So uh, I need to get the position of where the shoulder mount is going to be going across my shoulder so it's comfortable. Um, if it's way up here, it might be great for a real tall. This is, it needs to be right in the middle. So I'm about the height of his wife. He's about six foot. We're gonna go right compromise right at my shoulder and we're gonna check out and feel how that'll feel. All right. Uh, looks nice, real nice clean fit. Things are going real good. 